So we're looking for chickens. Maybe get the roads here. <laughs> Can hardly like um, even post the call, but yes. Now let me see. It says we arrived, so go that side then. Yeah, those are narrow roads. Okay, let me check out the GPS now. Okay, more narrow roads. Uh, one hand of space on each side. Now you go to the right. Oh, oh this was. This is real never. Oh, he has the movie. <laughs> Este avião, os comandos de tal joystick e os pés, para usar o tal leme de direção e depois sair de uma forma muito controlada, numa volta perfeita, em ver se não há nenhum desvio ali no fumo que ele provoca e vai agora parar no ar, apontado ao vento, com o motor espetacular, parece um helicóptero.
so check it out more upgrades for the Citroen Saxo because it's the car that needs the most love you know the other ones are already completed <laughs> so this is our project car so this was original rubber seals gaskets for the original oil radiator but of course it doesn't work out because um, it ends up the the original oil cooler ends up like just getting ruined and uh, the water goes into the oil so because I had um, gotten a new original one I had ordered these gaskets uh, but now we have an improved upgraded oil cooler so um, I still keep these original ones um, but these are like it's very hard to get these gaskets see this like uh, o-ring shape but it's not o-ring because they're square um, these gaskets are very hard to get so I'm actually going to get them manufactured um, as a uh, high resistant material that so that um, whoever wants I'll just put them online uh, whoever needs them because I know how hard it was to get them and these didn't even come in time um, the other upgrade Okay, here are the stainless steel screws. This one's gonna get be hard to get out of one hand. Okay, let's try it out. Yes, we got it. Here you go. So this actually by Spooks. They must have got this machined, CNC. Um, so the original one is plastic, of the car. But I don't trust it because plastic deforms with heat. Um, it also takes an O-ring, just like this one. So this is the upgrade I'm going to put in the car. I'm going to take the plastic one out and put this aluminium one. Which is... Um, it just gives me more confidence when riding the car, you know. Because I'm always thinking about this part. Um, three screws. And I'm always thinking like, you know, one day water is just going to start spilling out. And I'm not going to have a solution. So I'm going to get extra O-rings also made. For also higher resistant temperature. Um, whoever needs the O-rings. And these you can, this accessory you can buy in Spooks. Uh, yes, so that's the plan. So that other people don't have to go through all the problems that I went through. Just to make life easy for everyone. Okay. So yes, that's the plan. Upgrade this. And these I don't need anymore for now. <laughs> okay. Let's go! Yes, very good. good. We need more. Oh. Baby's doing bolding. Yeah! Oh. <laughs> Can fresh, man. Let's okay. go! Oh, oh, silly. <laughs> you can do it. Never give up. Okay. Oh, oh. <laughs> Let's put it lower. Yeah. Now, let's see if you can do it now. Oh, oh, silly. <laughs> let's go. Try again. Lower? Okay, let's go lower. There you go. Come on, you can do it now. Come on, let's go. Come on. Yay! Let's go. <laughs> okay, now let's take the rocks to the garden. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Come on, did you eat your spinach today? Yeah! Okay. 
Uncle takes the big one. Baby takes the small one. Let's go. Okay, let's go. Now look up, vamos. Let's go, babies. Okay. Beep, beep. Oh, we got that. More power. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. More power. Okay, go more. We put it deep, right? Okay, you go there. Go to that side over there. And one. Two. Hey, come over here, baby. Back, back, back. Back. Stop. One, two, three. Go, the your one. Now it's your turn. No. Yes. Let's go get some more turns. Go. Ooh. Yeah. Okay, let's get more. Come. Empty, let's get more. Look like this. Oh, ah, oh, ah, he, ha. Get warm up. Warm up so that you get strong. Let's go. One, two, three. Wow, so many white stones. Amazing. Now, let's go cool off in this warm Hello everyone, welcome to the Daily Lives Project channel. Yuppie, let's go. <laughs> okay, so um, finally got time to get into the Honda and um, do the test drive review, which I haven't done yet. Um, I did review the car at our normal location next to the old creepy church. She's just old. <laughs> and um, then I had to wash it because it got all dirty on that trip. Um, so now it's all clean, beautiful outside. When you wash the cars, they just look like amazing. So the paint is very good on this car. Um, all the interior is very good quality on this car. Uh, that's why I love the shape, I love the quality. It's just, I, I think price you get them now that is like excellent car to get it's very reliable uh, the engine is very good um, just change the oil of your gearbox uh, I would say like every 80,000 because they have this little glitch and um, all the gears will just go into much easier okay and it helps on the way and tear um, the aircon is like the greatest aircon I've ever seen. Okay, I mean this car can cool down like it's in a fridge. <laughs> That's how efficient it is. The aircon. I've never had a car with such a good aircon as this one. I know there are much better cars, I'm sure. But this car has an excellent air condition. So whoever has problems with like likes to have the aircon and always keep cool, this is a car for you. the short shift of the gears it's very nice um, sound is excellent comfort is very good just the back seats a little bit firm so whoever goes at the back will have firmer seats than these bucket ones okay um, it's always much more comfortable in front most cars are but I think people just look at it and they think like there's going to be a real cushion you know they're just a bit firmer. I don't mind, but some people have said that, but these seats are a bit harder than this car that you got on that car. <laughs> they prefer the Oryx seats, and um, the Saxo is a different car, but they also like the Saxo in the back seat, so um, that's what they say, it's a bit firm. But it's still great to do long trips. This is my choice for car to do long trips as a driver and as a passenger side by side because I think it's just great I mean the handling is excellent okay now we we have KW springs on this um, they really came like that uh, when I bought the car they also gave me the original springs the dampers I'm not sure if they were changed or they're the same because they already are hard um, so it's just 
stiff ride that's very very controllable and very self-balanced I mean it's just excellent on curves sharp corners you just don't feel the car like trying to serve around or run away or anything you know um, just got to stop there you know because um, the phone something happened <laughs> Okay, so um, as I was saying, because it's a bit stiff, you see, so the phone was shaking too much and I don't know why I'm pausing. Um, so, yes, it is a hard ride, uh, it will not absorb bumps, lumps, anything, you're gonna feel it all. Uh, it does give you a real feeling of the road, which I like, but just the fact of being stiff, you know. Um, it's just like on the corners it doesn't weigh from one side to the other It's uh, very balanced, very hard So you can really do corners quite fast without being worried about anything and Why do I like that? Because of the rain Because when it's raining, especially once it rains a lot I can feel confident in this car I can feel confident in the Saxo I can feel confident in the RX-8 um, the KD as well because I also put different dampers in the front because that's used to wave too much so I also put stiffer um, harder dampers in the front of the KD so basically I do that on all cars you see um, the Jeep is more like for comfort although it's stiffer dampers but those dampers are to be more comfort on off-road so uh, on the Jeep uh, the rain is different that's why I don't ride it a lot Pickup, I haven't had it so problem with it. It's also got it's a Ford Raptor, so you got all those modes and um, those dampers are also they're also quite hard because you can also feel the road, you know. Um, like if the road is uneven or something like that. So yeah, so um, as you can see I'm just like I just don't even know that I'm doing these corners, you know, you just don't feel it. It's like going straight. <laughs> So uh, it's so balanced this car. Uh, I know some people say that the back part loosens up a bit, but I don't feel it. You see, like I can just overtake all these cars in speed limits, but they can't go faster than what they're going because they feel it too much. You see, but for me, it's not a problem. can't just go for power you know um, so yes now we're gonna go back look how long it took them just to get there you see because these are really sharp corners I already come here to test the cars to drive them uh, with you guys so that because um, I know these corners are quite sharp and it really shows like the, the true um, performance on these type of rows that these cars that I have you know, and the um, so way we change them and upgrade them so yes so what else can I say about this car noise very it's very quiet in here probably can hear the exhaust or the engine you do hear enough to change the gears and everything um, it's all original I didn't change the exhaust on this car um, because um, it's like almost brand new this car has it hits right now while I'm doing this video 61,000 kilometers um, so that's how little kilometers it's got um, it's more like a collector item for me and um, just like the all the cars I got 
Scouts, you know, I try to keep them in the best condition possible. Um, they always have to be in the best condition possible for me, because that's how I roll. <laughs> and um, even the Raptor only has 2,000 kilos, it's beautiful here. Yeah. So yes, the more cars you have, the less mileage you put on them. And that for me is a good thing, because I don't want to like you just one car and just, you know, once you daily drive all the cars, let's I divide all the mileage that I use on the cars. You see, like that, I'm never like over going out of just one car. Um, I was going to get a new van, but uh, I have to wait a year, so that plan is out the door. So instead of getting a new van, maybe I'll just get a, another car. I'm not quite sure. I was going to change this, change the sexo. Um, I'm still not sure on that. I really thought I was going to get the new van, the new Ford Transit Connect, the 2 litre. Um, but unfortunately it's not possible because I want it, but one year is too long, you know. So I'm going to have to make another plan. Yeah, it's 90 and they're doing a bit of road work. I always like to, it's not worth it, like making roads a racetrack isn't worth it. Um, that's why I always advise to do like everything legal. Even though I'm doing these videos, I'm not going overboard, I'm not going over the limit, I'm not doing crazy stuff because it's not worth it. If a person wants to race, we go to a racetrack and the streets are made for transportation. You know, going from one side to the other and um, not for racing. It's very dangerous, can hurt yourself, can hurt others. Um, you have to respect the police and authority, you know. That's why they're here taking care of the people, make sure that everyone's in board, you know, in the law. So, yeah. Um, and what else about this car? I think that's about us, because on the review I haven't yet put on everything. And I uh, just wanted to show you guys about riding it. So, everything is very easy to get to on this car. Um, everything is like on spot, that's why I like it a lot. Like nothing is too far away. I got access to everything very quick. Um, and I do advise if you like this car, if you would like to get one, um, go for like a special color spec. Um, so that you know you got a rare model, okay? They didn't make a lot of these cars. I think worldwide it must have been like what between 50, 60,000, maybe 70,000. That's not a lot. Um, and then there are some colors that even have fewer. Like if you get the blue set, blue sapphire, sapphire deep blue, or this like that Tesla color right there. Um, you can get um, those are even rare. I think they are made 200 and something. So. Um, I can believe what in future they will go up in price is one of the Civics. They aren't right now like just skyrocketing because they always bring out new models. Um, but I don't know if they're going to keep on doing this new Honda Civic type car with all these environments, issues and uh, laws, emissions. So if one day if they stop, all the Honda Civics will go up in price. That's what's happening to mostly all used cars. You want a new car, you gotta wait a year. So people like to go for used cars. Now the bottle stands and everyone knows this and put up the prices, you know. So everything is going through inflation this year. Um, last year, it's just keep on rising. I don't know next year how it's gonna be, but I don't see them pushing down interest rates as they should. So I think it's gonna stay more or less the same. So yeah, cars will maintain their price for now. Some have declined because they were uh, so like they just increased too much. So something increases too much and you have that something, just sell it because it doesn't mean it's going to keep on going for you. Know? So then something's come down again. And that's the market. Um, but I just see a profit as a profit. So even if the margin is small and it's just going up, that's really a good thing. You know, you are going to lose money on that thing that you
is it like special highway where you can go faster just so you can enjoy your car but the only really place you can do that is to go on a track so I would like to make a video on a track one of these days probably take the Saxo um, must be a fun car to drive um, or this one of the RX-8 but I think the Saxo is a little cheaper <laughs> I wouldn't want to abuse these two babies <laughs> I also don't abuse on the Saxo it's just that you know cheaper more expensive car you know especially when you're always on a budget <laughs> Uh, next car review will be the Ford Raptor, the last car, and uh, yes, all these cars will be, I'll always be doing little upgrades on it, I've got a cool upgrade to do on the Raptor, um, I think you guys will enjoy that, so you don't see it often, and yes, all the projects at, um, at home and everything at the headquarters, I'm going to leave some projects for the winter, um, especially for the winter, at home, almost finished already. Got then the swimming pool to do. There's some guys who was born next year because all the other projects took time and I can't work in the radio cement. Yeah, but I uh, might just do some stuff for the structure, but I can't really go into it. Um, but there's look, we got more car festivals coming up uh, 9th September. We got a lot of like auto shows. So we have a lot of fun stuff to do. I think you guys will enjoy it. But um, I don't really believe they're going to um, like really stop doing diesel and petrol cars. Um, I think that'll only happen if like we get the hydrogen cars. Um, otherwise, I don't believe they're going to like completely stop everything because um, the electrics can't really like just overrule everything and they'll never sell so many electrics as um, but it, no one's gonna it's not gonna happen that everyone's gonna buy electric car they're quite expensive they still have maintenance you might not put like brake discs brake pads so often but you'll always have a certain maintenance okay you still have dampers you still have all those things so yes probably People use more like electric cars as a daily use than as you do long trips and uh, keep these cars like for weekends. Um, but for like long trips, I can't use the electric. I guess hydrogen cars will allow me to do my work without worrying, stopping so many times in a day. Clients would go crazy, you know, I can't do that. So um, that's why I think that um, this will still go for a few, um, a few years and as soon as hydrogen kicks in then I think the whole game is going to change. So if you are investing in cars, um, yes do it now, um, if you can make profit selling it, sell it because as soon as hydrogen and it gets into the market then I think this whole game is going to change a lot and then people are going to see a big difference in the car market so um, this will be quite interesting indeed uh, I would invest in a hydrogen car for work I surely would without a doubt um, so yes I am actually quite anxious to see what's going to go on but they need to get the infrastructure they have to produce hydrogen in a good safe way for the environment they had to all the cars with quality so I think they have to start doing something I understand that all the factories have already their contracts and their plants already producing sorts of models electric and everything and I know they have to keep it for like 10 years each model they had to make it profitable you know so they're going to really do everything they can use all the tools so that they can push the electric cars into the they're scared that they might lose a lot of money so I think they will keep on doing petrol and diesel cars while they can to keep the profits you know because they know it's a big um, it's a big stake in the markets yeah. so 
for now let's see what happens but those, those are my ideas you know for the future so I'm not really worried about like investing in a petrol car because I think it will always go up with value petrol or diesel but they got to be iconic cars you can't just get any car and think like just because it's diesel or petrol is going to be worth more money uh, even if they're fewer because that, that's not how it works it depends on the model the make like different cities from other cars, like anything collectible, uh, the less they are, the better it is, you know. So, like that, you have less competition on price. If there's like thousands of cars, the same model, the same make being sold, you've got a lot of competition pushing down price so that they can sell it before you. So, that's why I always tend to choose. That doesn't mean my cars are worth a lot. They have nothing compared to what other people, thousands and millions of people have. Um, but um, I always, as long as it doesn't lose, you know, that's what's important for me. So for now, I've chosen right, um, and I'm happy. You know, it's all about doing research. About the car speed, um, so it does have enough power, could have a little bit more. But for me it's good like I say you can't even race on the streets anyway so is 200 horsepower enough I guess so um, for the saxo for example we must have like 130 I guess must be like 130 right now and uh, it's a very light car so it could also have a bit more but it's sufficient you know um, this car as well, if I want to speed more, it picks up very well, it accelerates very well. Of course, this, the Saxo RX, it's all about higher revs. Um, but because I don't like to waste a lot of petrol, I don't really do that, you know. I go very high revs. I have tried it and everything, and it really picks up. It's just like, boom. So, yes, in terms of speed, for me, it's enough. If you're used to a quicker car, you're going to feel it, of course. So, um, I guess these cars are for people that don't have cars with more than 200 horsepower, 230. <laughs> okay, so yes, I hope you guys enjoy and stay tuned, everyone. I'm going to have to edit this video, of course. It's going to be too long, me talking the car. Just keep the main parts. <laughs> And thank you for all your support. We've already got 44 subscribers. So um, please subscribe to the channel um, so I can get growing even faster. And um, stay tuned because I'm going to keep uploading. See you on the next one. Ow.